Thank you, Madam Speaker, and we appreciate your million-dollar smile. Living legend Sean Hannity of Fox News is now officially the longest-running primetime cable news host in television history, passing the former record of Larry King. I especially appreciate his professionalism, having myself minored in journalism and being editor of my high school, college, and law school newspapers, and also being an intern reporter for the Post and Courier, the daily paper of Charleston, South Carolina. He is a champion for freedom, and he cites each day that has passed of honoring the 13 dead Americans in Kabul. He also points out, sadly, the Americans left behind in Afghanistan. He stands with the heroes of Ukraine fighting war criminal Putin as President Vladimir Zelensky inspires live free or die. As aptly written in an April 21 Fox News story by Brian Flood, Hannity, who has been with the network since it was launched in 1996, has hosted a primetime program on Fox News for 25 consecutive years, six months, and 15 days. Sean's authenticity and insightful commentary have created one of the most enduring connections for our audience, and it's been an honor to watch him over the years. A Fox News original, he has helped innovate the industry, and we are incredibly proud of his extraordinary success. Fox News Media CEO Suzanne Scott said in a statement, Hannity's eponymous program has been one of the most watched cable news programs on a regular basis. Hannity has finished number one in its time slot for 13 consecutive years among both viewers and the advertiser coveted demographic of adults 25 to 54 since launching as a solo hour in January 2009, according to Nielsen Media Research. I'm extremely grateful to Fox News Media and to our loyal, dedicated viewers who I am proud to have served every night, Hannity said. Before landing a solo program, Hannity was one half of the popular Hannity and Combs with the late Alan Combs. Last year, Hannity joined Fox and Friends to discuss the network's 25th anniversary. It was to be a bold innovation. Everybody laughed. Nobody thought it would be successful. Not only did we quickly become number one, but we've been able to maintain that number one position for a very long time, Sean Hannity said. Fox News finished the first quarter of 2022 as the basic cable's most watched network, crushing CNN and MSNBC for the 81st consecutive quarter during a busy news cycle that included Russia's hideous invasion of Ukraine and, sadly, the ongoing coronavirus pandemic and round-the-clock political news. Over the last 25 years, Hannity has interviewed newsmakers including former President Donald Trump, former Vice President Mike Pence, former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, and most recently award-winning actor and director Sean Penn. Hannity is also the author of four New York Times best-selling books. Congratulations, Sean. Thank you for providing America with news we can trust by telling the truth. And then I have another personal uh, interest. Uh, our family really appreciates newscasters. My uh, oldest son, uh, Alan, the Attorney General of South Carolina, uh, married the leading newscaster of South Carolina, Jennifer Miskowitz of WIS Television. And because he married over his head, he was elected the youngest Attorney General of the United States. As I conclude, as the co-chair of the French caucus, congratulations to President Emmanuel Macron on re-election. America appreciates our first ally with extraordinary representation by Ambassador Philippe Etienne. We stand together for the people of Ukraine and with President Vladimir Zelensky. I yield back.